Today, we're going to go over the concept of mitigating loss. Let's go over the textbook definition of it. Mitigating loss refers to the action taken to minimize the negative effects, damages, or losses in various contexts. It's the idea of taking steps to reduce the severity or impact of a potential damaging situation. So, for instance, in the real world, let's say somebody had a stab wound from a tree that they hit by accident and to mitigate that loss you want to stop the blood you want to get them to the hospital right away so there's no further loss of blood or loss of life so that's mitigating loss you're trying to do something to prevent further damage the same thing goes with the financial industry and in this financial industry right now that we are in, especially in the United States, a majority of all CEOs are starting to say we are going to have a very, very bad recession. We have never been in history where the S&P 500 has had seven companies making up 28% of the entire S&P 500. In a recession, you have to take steps in order to mitigate loss because it's not a matter of losing, you are going to lose. You have to put yourself in a situation where it prevents you from losing it all. So you want to invest into something with physical assets and you diversify your portfolio. That's what it means is to invest not into just stocks, but also into real estate, into precious metals, into different avenues. Now, I'm more of the fan of real estate because precious metals during FDR were confiscated. Uh, you had to turn it into the government and they'd pay you a fair market value. Real estate is not like that. It's very different because when the governments start taking away land from private ownership from the public, that's when you start having revolutions and civil wars and people don't stand for that. We have a very, very interesting investment policy right now. So things might be going down fairly quickly. Real estate is a very good avenue even though real estate may go down, it's still a physical asset. So you're still going to have that physical asset even though the value goes down. That is the big takeaway from this. People have to understand, in a recession, you are going to lose. You're going to lose money. It's just how much are you going to lose? If all that you're invested in, in the stock market goes to zero, you have zero because those companies aren't going to probably come back. But if you have real estate or certain physical assets that will jump back after the recession is over, then you have mitigated that loss and those investments will come back even greater or you will not lose as much as you would have if you kept your money in a different avenue. So keep that in mind, folks. Mitigating loss right now, especially, is a good thing. Investing in real estate is a good thing. If you are interested in investing in real estate, I am a real estate broker. My name is Eric Kovshinikov. I would love to help you buy or sell your next property. Give me a call today. I look forward to helping you.